everybody, what's going on? Zelvin here. Welcome back to another video. So today in this video, everybody, I'm going to be showing you all how to make a custom storage sorting area. So yeah, let's get into it. Okay, so everything that you're going to need is in the chest. So in the chest, we have four redstone repeaters, two redstone torches, three redstone comparators, eight redstone, three droppers, and ten hoppers. We also have two regular chests and two trap chests, followed by 64 of three items, three item frames, and 10 just random blocks. You can make it be dirt, you can make it be diamond blocks, it doesn't really matter. And then some stairs or some slabs. So taking all of these out, we're going to be placing a dispenser up from the ground like so, and then another one on top of it. We are then going to be putting one over to the, the right hand side and shift clicking a chest and then a hopper so that it is connecting from here over here from there we are going to go behind and add a redstone comparator followed by another block and a redstone repeater so here is what we have so far if you're trying to follow up that is that's two droppers facing upwards on top of each other with one facing to the left or the right, it does not really matter, but for the sake of this video, I'm choosing the right. You have a chest on the middle dropper, followed by a hopper that is connected to the bottom dropper. Next, what you need to do, you need to add redstone connecting the repeater to the comparator. And you do that just like so, so that it sends a signal from this all the way around. You then add two other blocks, and you connect that signal. But instead of just full redstone, you put a repeater and you make it be on one tick. So you would right click this repeater one to make it go slower than a typical repeater. Now what we are going to do now, I'm going to just cover this part up so that it looks presentable to the eye. And to guard off all of the, to guard off all of the redstone so that no one can see it from where I am standing, I'm going to just cover that. Next, I'm going to put a normal chest followed by a trap chest and place three of those. Then I'm just going to do the exact same thing, make it look pretty. So now the chest will open. You can also use slabs here if you would like, but for the sake of this video, I'm just using stairs. Okay, moving on to the back of this, what we need to do now is place a block right there and then attach a hopper onto this block. Very, very important. So you would start over here and go this way. Super important. So just place the block there and continue with that going. Next, what you need to do is just simply right click on these, on the stairs or the slabs so that it will know to go down from these and into here. Next, what we're going to do is break the blocks one behind and under the chest and put redstone torches on them. This will be sending a signal when we place down another set of hoppers connecting into the chest. On this third spot, this is going to be your random chest, so you don't have to put a redstone torch there, but all of the items that are random will go straight into there. Now what you need to do is you need to place two blocks right behind this one and add a comparator going the opposite direction of your chests. From that point on, break the blocks below them, break the blocks two down and one back from them, and add a repeater. This will connect to the redstone signal on the other side. Block that up now, and add a redstone going in a circle. We are almost done, and this is almost all finished, but now, now all we need to do is add in our blocks. So what we are going to do is place lapis in as our first item. So place four lapis and then you need 18 in this separate area. So four of them require one piece of the item that you're about to make in your storage and then the last slot requires 18. Okay, I have placed item frames up above the, uh, the chests to symbolize which ones they are. So lapis would obviously be where lapis lazuli goes, bread is where the bread will go, a golden a golden nugget just basically represents oh it's it's random basically represents just miscellaneous so 
That does not really matter what you put there. You can also put signs if it's more convenient for you to read. So back over to the starting chest right next to the droppers. All you need to do is just right click and then put the item that you need to organize in your chest. You should hear a noise go off and that means that it is working. And now if you go over to the specified chest where you put that block into in the hopper, all of the items should be stacking up very nicely. Yeah, so there is 41 of our items. I'll do the same with the bread. And then you hear the little ding go off, and that means that it is working. So that is very, very good, because now we are getting the bread. Occasionally, it does not work when you open a chest. Uh, it's just the redstone being weird, I guess. But just one of the downsides with this design is that one item will always be stuck in the bottom hopper. And if your chest is full, then this entire row right here will be full of that item. So I have put the golden nuggets into the chest, and as you see, they don't have a specified place to go. I did not set them up so that they would. So right in here, we have all of the golden nuggets stacking up. And if I put in, say, redstone, after this gold is done going in, the redstone should go in as well to the miscellaneous chest so it should all be stacking up. so yes everybody that is going to be it for today's tutorial i hope you all enjoyed it and i hope you found this video useful and yeah